Are you tired of inconsistent translation and wondering which tool to trust? Well, today we're peering into Google Translate and the DeepL. So let's see which one is the best for translations. First of all, let's talk about these both translators. So translation tools have come a long way and today we'll compare three of the biggest players, which is the Google Translate and the Deep Translate. Now there's the ChatGPT translation, but I think that the ChatGPT is not going to be really useful because the ChatGPT translator works with Google Translate. If you want me to verify that this one is totally truth, then if I go into ChatGPT.com and I ask the application to translate hey everybody into Italian, when we ask for that, here is going to be telling us where is the actual model. Let's just start with some basic translation test. So I'm going to open three tabs where I have the chat DPT, I have the deep L and this one, which is the Google Translate. So let's open and tap Google Translate and let's just start with something easy. For example, how are you today? So how are you today? In the Google Translate, I didn't have to tap what is the language I'm speaking. Automatically, it detects which it came from. Now, into the upper side, we have the access to change this for a different, um, let's say, language. I'm going to try it out with Italian. Now, come stai oggi. Now, I'm going to do exactly the same thing, but now into the deep L. So, here I paste my language. Once again, automatically it's going to be detected, so I don't have to put up surely anything here. And then here into German, I'm going to change this for Italian. So, come sta oggi. Here, it's exactly the same as the previous one, which is the Google Translate. Now with ChatGPT, let's try it out with how are you today? Hey everybody, how are you today? In Italian would be ciao a tutti, come sta te oggi? exactly the same as with the Google Translate and the Deep L. The difference here is that we don't have, we have to be a little bit more like a chat, uh, a little bit more descriptive when we talk with ChatGPT. So let's try it out with something more contextual translation. So if I try it out with something for a sentence with multiple meanings, for example, I am on a roll. Uh, so let's try it out with something else. So next we're testing the context. The phrase I'm on the roll call mean I'm doing great or I'm literally rolling. So let's go for next. I am on a roll. So for us is when we're meaning I am doing great. But let's see what the Italian can be translated. So sto andando alla grande, sono in gran forma which both expressions can be the idea of being on a strike of success or doing really well. ChatGPT make a really great work. Let's use exactly the same info and paste it into deep L. Sono in bene di Chelsea. So that means that if I copy this, I go into Google Translate and I send this from Italian to English, that means I'm in the mood for jokes. So you are happy, you are okay. But this one does not mean that you are as it appears in here, which is the idea of being on a strike of success and doing really well. So check out the difference. Sono in bene di Chelsea. And here we have sto andando alla grande or sono in gran forma. So in great shape. So I just click here. This is the actual translation. I'm doing great. Or I am in great shape. This one would be the accurate. Now here, sono in bene di Chelsea means I'm in the mood for pranks. It's not that accurate and it's not what we are looking for. Let's try out with the last one, which is the Google Translate. I'm in a roll, sono alla grande, exactly as it did with ChatGPT. So as I just told you, the ChatGPT works with the Google Translate. That's the reason why the accuracy is a little bit more uh, descriptive and precise. But the ChatGPT gave us two different options and what does the expressions can be? What are the idea of both expressions? And lastly, you can try it out with something like, for example, formal and informal. For example, can you please send me the files or send me the files now? So let's test the tone for form languages. So can you please send me the files? 
can you please send me the files and doing exactly the same thing on the both Google Translate and the DeepL uh, translator. So we have Voi per por favore invitarme i file. This one means can you please send me files? Voi per por favore mandarme i file. Exactly the same thing here. Voi per por favore invitarme i file. But if this one is a little bit more informal, for example, send me the files now. An expression mark. I go here, paste and paste once again. Let's see the informal section here. Inviami a i file adesso. Here, mandami i file adesso. And here we have manda mandatemi i file subito. Send me the files now. So if I were an Italian, I believe that the best solution is something that can be really accurate is the one that's just here in Biami e Fali Adesso. That means send me the files right now or now. I think that both did a really great work. DeepL does not do something that accurate. Now, something that I can be telling you a little bit more about the DeepL uh, comparing with the Google Translate is that we can translate files. So we can translate three entire PDF. And if we try to do exactly the same thing with the Google Translator, this one won't uh, give us the access to do it too, because we have a limited of uh, text characters. So if I try with this, for example, title, with this information, I copy it and I paste it here and see what happens. What happens here is that the text exceeds 3,900 characters limit. And here there is no limit at all. We can, of course, try to copy and enter paste the translation of the text. So we can even import some files in PDF information. So there we go. You can see that we have um, a 7,000 characters designed out for free to translate up to 5,000 characters. We have here only 3,000. But if you want accuracy, if we want something gamer, formal informal information, Google Translate and the ChatGPT does a really great work instead of the DeepL translation. So choose Google Translate for quick and on the go translations. If you want to use in the ChatGPT for contextual understanding and explanations, this is the best tool depending on your specific use case. DeepL can also work for some explanations, um, something contextual ultimately the best tool depends on your specific use case so thank you guys for joining me in today's translation showdown let me know into the comments which tool you prefer and if you have a different experience with any of this don't forget to like subscribe and hit that notification bell for more tech impression and see you next time